So literally just as we crossed over the road at the start, I just put my GoPro in my pouch, Scott was still filming and I tripped over, did a somersault, landed full blown on my elbow, full body weight, skipped my knee, stayed my hand, and still a wee bit sore on my elbow but my knee's back to feeling normal again. So it's just turned over 16 kilometers, 10 miles, and we're just about to approach come into the Dorai. the fast ultra walk. <laughs> That's what you do when you still got energy in your legs. We're not quite enough to run up a hill. There's also the ultra shuffle which is what you see after about 40 miles which is a lot slower than this. And the legs are a lot wobbly. There's also the Bingham walk. <laughs> it's about twice as fast as that. <laughs> So is it 26.22 miles? It's our first marathon complete. So this has done 30 miles. I'm just at Hunterson now, just past Fairlit. There's Hunterson House there. For first official stop. That's Dave just joined us now. He's running with us to air. Which is roughly about 26 miles. <laughs> Had phenomenal support so far from Mark and others, and that's the Williamson boys who's arrived to run with us. That's us at 43 miles to be countryside stop. Kirsty's joined us for a few miles as well. But so this is Mark's last wee stunt with us. And he's going to be heading off now. He's done almost his marathon distance. So thanks Mark. Thanks for yeah, thanks for the support. Along, huh? yeah. Uh, 
just trying to fight off the urge to lie down and go to sleep. I've been feeling like me. I've got my energy, or a bit of my energy back. It has been a pretty warm day, the sun's been beating yeah. down, the yeah, sky is almost better, cloudless. Better than the forecast, because the forecast was for cloud virtually for the whole time. And the clouds actually dissipated about two o'clock and it's been nice and sunny. So it's been good, but it's not too hot. And the temperature's folks probably about 15, 16. Well, looking at you at this stage in the, the, the race, you you look, you still look strong. Thanks. But I think uh, <laughs> we are looking at a new record for the surround. Hope so. This time. Gordon. So I wish you, Gordon. wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Hey, yo. Okay, see you later. This is us at the halfway point, a wee break. This ultra marathon stuff's just a big picnic, really. end of air now, just about to stop for our next stop, which is just over 60 mile mark. Joined by Robin, Levi, Alan, and Michael. It's about quarter to twelve, and it's all trails through woodland for the next twenty miles or so. Just 73 almost miles, 73 miles in, right in the, the heart of the River Airway Trail. So that's us in Mochlin. 80 miles into the run. Yeah. Sitting in the wee car, car park where the pollen over makes it a bit rainy. But it's quite pleasant other than that though. It's, the rain's not too bad. Yeah, so it's just over 85 miles in, 85 and a half. And I've been joined by Mark doing some support running with me. And I think Scott's. Not that far, shouldn't be that far behind us, just a mile, or so. a mile or so, so 15 minutes maybe in this day, so 
I think everything is definitely sore. And my left leg's pretty sore after my fall this morning or yesterday morning, which was over 19 hours ago now. So oh, apart from that, all going well so far. There's 92 miles into the, the run, climbing up a big hill at the moment and uh, got Brian joining me now for some support. Right, so here we have Gordon on the last stretch. Yeah. It's two miles to go. One minute past eight in the morning, he's got one, two miles left to go and he is absolutely blowing this out the water and I'm just going to keep hassling him here till he starts running again. That's the stuff, go! <laughs> After running 98 miles, he's still running Eight miles per hour. <laughs> oh, come on. That's me done just over, crashed over a hundred miles, and that's 22 hours and 23 minutes. Oh. <laughs> Let's go.